All right. <laughs> I'm back. Had a little detour tonight. So I won't be streaming for very much longer, even though I just started. Technically, I started a few hours ago. I had to take about an hour off because my baby woke up, but now she is back asleep. So we will just continue where we left off and... I'll probably call it quits. I feel bad, but maybe around one, which is in like 30 minutes. Uh, maybe I'll push it. Ooh, there's a shrine nearby. I think it's this way. Maybe this way? No? Okay, it's definitely this way somewhere. Uh oh. I don't have my map anymore. Uh oh, that's not good. You're in uncharted territory. Okay, shrine thing still works though. No? Oh, maybe? Interesting. It goes away. But it does seem like it's coming from this direction. Ooh. So we could easily get very lost in here. Because the map is not working. Look at that bird just chilling in this like sandstorm. Hmm. Let's look at that chest. So, we are off map. Uh oh, crap. Looked away. Okay. Do I have enough stamina? I should. Well, I figured it would be hard, or a little bit more of a challenge to stream with an infant, but uh, overall, I feel like it's going pretty well. I did have to take a break tonight, but that's the first time I've really had to. Usually, she just sleeps through the whole night, so... We must just be having an off night. What do we have? Ooh, 10 ice arrows. I bet we're gonna need that. Okay, and we really can't see anything, huh? Looks like there's something on top of this pillar. So we're gonna go look and see what it is. I'm hoping it's a core oak. So we'll see. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing up here. Okay. That's sad. Okay. I'm trying to see if we can see a shrine lighting up because I know there's a shrine around here somewhere. Before my map went out, it was telling me that there's a shrine over here. Oh, there's a bad guy. I'm gonna have to be careful of that, huh? 
and then I just come across a bunch of bad guys and not even realize it. See if I can get past him. What an idiot. Okay. Oh, maybe I'm the idiot. What am I doing out here? Gotcha. Sweet. Can't carry that. Oh, they are all over the place. It's like sand moving. Something over here. I wonder if it's a chest. That's a rock. Let's see if there's anything under it. Nope. Okay. Well then. I feel like I shouldn't be in here quite yet. Like, I haven't come across a storyline or anything Ooh. telling me to come in here or what to do while I'm in here. Oopsies. There. So we'll have to see if I can, like, fix or figure out why I'm in here and what I'm supposed to do. Or I don't know, maybe there isn't something that's supposed to tell me why I'm down here. We'll have to see, I guess. Okay. Do I want that? Hmm. I do more damage than my spear. Eh, I'm okay without it. I think. We'll see if I regret that later. The temperature is getting very high. Find a way to cool down or you're gonna take damage. Okay, so let's turn around because I don't think I have anything prepared for that. Hmm. I am also still in my winter clothes. stamina. Because if I do, I might be able to find a better angle down here, or maybe a better place to start. Because I kind of just followed the shrine signal, and then it disappeared. Along with my map, some stamina back. Uh oh. Oh, way to go. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. That failed. Epically. That's okay. We'll try again. No big deal. fuzz on my nose or something. It tickles. I'm just going to keep going because I might be able to make it. I don't want to fall again. Uh 
Uh-oh. We'll see. Maybe I won't be able to make it. 11th Betty, slow and steady. I'm not gonna make it. So going down won't use as much stamina, I don't think. I'll go to that resting point. Maybe. I can just drop down here. Yep. Get my ah. So bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this again, and I will take that rest, even if it doesn't completely refill my stamina. It'll be worth it because then I'll be able to get all the way to the top and get out of here. I don't like having static for a map. Okay, full stamina. Perfect. So yeah. While we climb this wall, I guess. Um, let's see. So, I'm really excited because I'm gonna be able to play some new games soon. I mean, I have a few games on the Switch that I could play. Like, I considered playing Mario Odyssey today, but I didn't want to start a whole new separate, like, journey-type game similar to what we're already playing. So, I'm holding out to this weekend. Oh, no, am I not going to make it? Come on, come on, come on. Um, let's see. If I time this right, I might be able to. Oh, I missed it. Okay, maybe I can't climb out of here. Maybe it's too high. It doesn't look like it's super high, but then I can't get up there. Huh. Let's see. Maybe I can do this. But yeah, so this weekend... I'm going to pull out the Xbox and play some Fortnite, maybe some Call of Duty. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I could play a lot of games on there. Fable's fun. Halo. Oh, that shrine thing came back. And the storm went away. Okay. I uh, still would like to get out of here. There's a bunch of bad guys down here. Sorry. I don't like to do that, but it makes the rest of them go away. I should probably eat. Re, re heal. Just eat that. My last arrow? Man, I need to stock up. These guys can be pretty powerful. Where's my shield? Did I drop it and not pick it up again? Thanks, that was a good shield. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Am I pressing the wrong button? Oh, I am. There it is. Oops. There you go. Look at this stuff. It looks like... There's another one up here. Sorry, I'm just gonna check something real quick. Okay, perfect. Back to that. All right. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh no. Shoot. I forgot how to dodge. C2. Yes. I got off and back on. My baby woke up. And I thought, oh, I have enough time to get back on. And then I wasted a bunch of time because I was like, maybe I should do something other than Breath of the Wild when I get back on. So I tried... I don't know what direction I'm going. I tried figuring out... Um... Ro robot Unicorn Attack, which is a really, really fun game to play. And... Uh oh hello. Um... But I couldn't figure out the audio. Uh-oh. Okay, note to self, don't do that again. So yeah, I couldn't figure out the audio. Oh, pick that up. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm coming back to this. <laughs> so I won't be on for very long. But, ugh. Where does that thing again? Oh, there's a wall here. That's why I'm not going anywhere. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die again down here, aren't I? Yep. This is rough. <laughs> but C2, yeah. Were you on earlier? I didn't know if you were or not. But um, welcome back, if you were. If not, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Um, let's see. Can I get out of here? I'm going to climb up. Get back down. Can't go up over there. I'm just gonna not attack that lizard guy if he comes back. Oh, maybe I don't have the option. Run away! Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat. Let's go to the title screen. It's kind of cheating, but kind of not. I feel like if McIntyre was here, he'd be like, ooh, not new game. He'd be like, no, they're totally letting you do it. So that's not cheating, it's part of the game. I'm just gonna say, or start from a previous save and rethink all my mistakes. Jules had you hooked. Good. Boomer Night's always fun. I almost considered just being on, or not being on her stream, but like getting on her chat and doing that instead of getting on again for me because I love Boomer Night. It's so fun. But I didn't. I decided to do this. <laughs> I need to make my streams more fun like hers. I like being chill and mellow, but I can't really do a ton of craziness so I don't wake up the baby, <sighs> but bummer, this burnt, um, but yeah, I would like to try to be as fun and entertaining as she is, because she's great. I feel like there's a path I should be following that I have missed. Oh yeah, like, I don't know, that looks like a pathway, maybe. Hmm. I 
I'm not going to get fooled by that shrine noise again. Did you guys solve the crossword? I haven't watched a full Boomer Night. I never know if you guys actually finish it or if you just get close and then it's like, okay, time to move on. You suck at them. <laughs> I do too. They did 100%. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I I feel like I don't have enough like general knowledge of enough things to be able to do a crossword puzzle. I feel like you have to know a lot of every different type of genre that there is to know about. And that's just, I don't know how people are able to do that. But I guess if you do it collectively like that, everyone's going to know a little bit of everything, hopefully. So that would be good. A good way to do it. Oh, you do? Everyone just like Googles it? I mean, yeah, I guess I could see that happening for sure. You got the internet at your disposal. But I don't know. Do you think she knows that? I wonder if she knows. Because I thought she banned people if they cheated. But I don't know. Maybe she doesn't know. She knows. Eh. If it's fun, then why does it matter? You know? It's okay. You can't ban for that. Oh. There are some real smart people, though, so it's hard. Yeah, it just doesn't really matter. It's just for fun. I'm interested in, well, getting to that tower. But also, I wonder if there's anything on that. Oh, look at that wall. Interesting. Oh, excuse me. Blah. So, that's a weird little gust over there. It's, I need to find, oh, there's a shrine. I need to find clothes I can wear in the heat. Because right now, Link is getting overheated. And I don't know where I get clothes that are meant for the heat. So I might need to do some cooking, cook some things that'll help me survive the heat. So then I need to look for somewhere to cook things. This might be a whole ordeal. I feel like I cheated somehow. Like, ooh. There's a whole, um, what's that called? Stable. Why can I never remember what those are called? <laughs> There's a whole stable over there. So I'll go there after this, and maybe there's somebody there that'll tell me where I can get the clothes that I need. Wow, it's already one. At least where I am. Ooh. What is all this? The power of electricity. Okay, is that metallic? Okay, looks like it is. So if I just set this down here. 
Ooh. Okay. So that opens the gate. What's through it? Okay, there's another gate that needs a key to open it. Assessing, assessing. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and look around. Okay, there's nothing down here. I'm gonna come over here. Oop, a little mini guardian. That was so easy. Okay. Can I just, like, pull that off of the string? Is that enough to break it, maybe? Can I just pull it? Come here. Oh, I'm out of arrows. I'm out of bomb arrows. Oh boy. Try to calm it down, but I think I'm just gonna make it worse, probably. Yeah, I might have helped. My last regular arrow. Okay, cool. Oh, I can pick it up. Okay. I still have another arrow. Yay! Well, C2, I hope you had a good day. I can't believe it's already Wednesday, right? So, yeah. Only two more days left, and it's the weekend. Okay. So I got that side lit up green, just like this side was. And then this path started moving, or like treadmill thing. Let's see what's over here. Oh, it's the chest. I bet there's a key in it. Yay, there is. Okay, so I didn't realize I thought, I thought I heard her explain once that she could ban people if she thought they were cheating. But, I keep running backwards. But you can't do that. I guess I wasn't. <sighs> sure, sorry. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh yeah, you can do that. I was like, he hasn't done it yet, so maybe you can't. Got him. It's kind of scary because I couldn't see. Okay, what should I drop? Uh, this. Okay. Alright, more puzzle to figure out. Okay. We've got to get those gears turning. We have to get the electricity flowing. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, how could you prove that you were cheating? Even if you could, why would you actually ban them if they make you look smart? That's true. I don't know if that's her strategy, but that would be your philosophy on it. Yeah, that's a good point. Are there any chests? There 
is one. How do you get it? Oh wait, it looks shiny. Yep. Cool, I'm glad I turned around. Pull it towards me. Let's open it. That's true. Gerudo Skimitar. Eh. It's cool looking, but it doesn't... I think everything I have is better. Except for my torch. Should I drop that? Okay, I'll drop it. Watch me really regret that in a few minutes. Hopefully not. I swear, there's a shrine with a chest back there. And it's probably like only one. And I keep thinking of it. And I have convinced myself that it's more, more than it really is. Okay. That was a fun one. I'm glad it wasn't another, like, test of strength. I feel like I've had a lot of those lately, and I'm just glad that it wasn't another one. Okay. Alright, let's go to this table. This... Oh, it's a mushroom and a rock. I couldn't tell what that was. Oopsie. <gasps> yes! I love these guys. I don't know why, but I do. They're so cute. There's so many of them, you'd think I would... Uh oh I hope there's one down there. But you'd think I would get sick of them or whatever. Or just not find them as cute as I do, but nope. They're all super cute. <gasps> Beetle, I need you. What do you have? Please have some arrows. Ooh, an ancient arrow. Wow, this even works on those guardian things. I hear it works best if you hit the guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. To find him, go way north past Zora's domain all the way to Akala, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. I always want to say Akalaka instead of Akala. Akalaka. I don't know why. I don't know where I get that from. Is it from something? I don't know. It might be. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and clothes and stuff. I guess he's what you'd call a mad scientist, which is kind of cool, but also terrifying. If you want strong weapons and stuff, you should go see him. Oh. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for, or are you selling? Uh, let's see if he has arrows. Yes. Take them all. Wow. Wow. He's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna take all these. And I wonder, I probably have, I don't know, maybe I don't. I think I have some heat resistance things, but let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just buy some. I can afford it. And then, since I'm at a stable, I can go cook. That's gonna be a lifesaver. So I can survive out in the desert. We'll see. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, should I sell anything? 
I'm not really hurting for money, but you never know. It could happen at any moment where I'm going to need money and then I'll have less than I need. So let's sell my gems. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that just scared the crap out of me. I just set that up. K2 Climb, thanks for the follow. <laughs> that just scared me. I thought that someone like came in through my door. Because <laughs> there's like a door sound. Whew. K2 Climb, you get my first... <laughs> my first... Um... Oh no, did my alert box not go off? It might not have, I'm sorry. But my first new alert that I just set up today, <laughs> it's from the office. I hope I don't get in trouble for using it. It should be okay. It's just a small little bit. Let's talk to Kat. Okay, good to see you again. I trust you're keeping well. You've come quite some distance. Even I, blessed with the gift of, gift of flight, struggle a bit to make it here. My teacher was the court poet in the employ of the Hyrulean royal family. 100 years ago, he came face to face with the calamity at Hyrule Castle and was forced to flee. It was a perilous journey, very different from my own travels, I imagine. Danger was his constant companion. Anyway, I should return to my task. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. Ooh. Oh, is this a big one? The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land oft gasped in the palm of a villainous hand. The dark force of destruction, many times undone, rises again Ganon, the calamitous one. But hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon, I've committed to song to keep it through time, no matter how long. Is this the same poem as the last one? Now begins a second verse. Listen and you'll know on their battle with Ganon 10,000 years ago. Okay, I think it is. This sounds really familiar. A kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. This is the same thing. But Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws, so the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at its source. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased, each of these titans called a divine beast and free-willed machines that hunted down their prey. These guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. To guide the beasts and battle warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine Beast, Guardians, Princess, and Knight, their plan to rout Ganon looked airtight. Was looking airtight. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, no.
and when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed it. Ganon raged its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. The Divine Beast unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon so. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. So what confuses me is there's a story from 10,000 years ago and 100 years ago. It's like it is repeating or something. I don't understand that. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. Nope. That's okay. Anything in here? Oh, it's the painter dude. A canyon painstakingly carved out by the mighty wind over countless years. What a magnificent sight to behold. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Tell me where this is. How about... Hmm, this picture. Oh, it isn't... Oh, isn't this the Kara Kara Bazaar? It's an oasis just outside Gerudo Town. If you head southwest from here, you can't miss it. It's a great place, just brimming with an exotic atmosphere. It's certainly worth visiting at least once in your life. Okay. Wait, do you sell things? I'd like to travel the desert to sell my wares, but I haven't found a pack animal yet that won't get stuck in the sand. I sell bugs. What a living. Hmm. I don't want to buy bugs. Let me see what he has. Hmm. Warm darner and cold darner. Resist cold, res or heat resistant. Hmm. That's funny because like we're right on the edge of a desert and a mountain, so you kind of need both. Kind of need both, but okay, fine. Let's yeah. do the one with heat resistance. I'll take them all. Because I have a long way to travel through the desert. If I want to go out to that little village. Oh, I'm just like clicking A and talking and not paying attention. And like, why is the game making me do the same thing over and over again? Maybe it's because I'm not paying attention. Okay. Um, let's cook. Oh, my poor friends. Hey, did you happen to see any of my friends? There are four travelers named Olaf, Flaxel, Canolo, and Palmy. I don't know. We were all walking together when some monster suddenly jumped us near the Calcot Plateau Path. I took off running and didn't stop until I got here. I thought my friends were right behind me, but when I turned around, they were nowhere to be found. You don't think the monsters could have... No, they're fine. They'll be back any second now. Hey, if you happen to run into any of my friends on the road, please let them know Sesame is waiting for them here. All right. Will do. I'll get right on that. Okay. I'm going to hold two of those. And then you just cook them with, usually, with a monster part. Yep. So let's just cook it with this. And it should make an elixir that is heat resistant for a certain, or resistant for a certain amount of time. Eight minutes. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's do something like that again.
We'll see. Okay, six minutes. So I guess it depends on the uh, monster part. We shall see what we come up with. Oh, eight, almost nine minutes. Okay, let's do it again. I thought I saw this. Is this? Okay. I don't know. We'll see what this does. Cool. We're happy about it. Now, okay, and I have two other things. Anything with the sun and the arrow down in the top left corner of the individual boxes, those are all things that I can have that will help me survive in the um, desert or anything, anywhere that's hot. Okay. My only thing is, ooh, red rupee, it's worth 20. Ooh, it's shining over here. Oh, it's flint. My only thing is time. I felt bad that I had to quit earlier. I wonder how far I have to go. Where am I? You know what? I need to cook some more. Cook some more. Some more what? <sighs> You're killing me, Smalls. I need just like regular food to eat. that. Do I not have any hearty truffles? Or anything? Doesn't look like it. Bummer. That stinks. Um, what about? I wonder if you can have more than one elixir at a time. Like one for speed and one for heat. I wonder if you can. I don't know if you can. You might be able to. Hmm. Bitter cold. Silent. Maximum hearts. Okay. Let's try this. Cool. Let's do that again. She needs some meat. He needs some milk. Have you guys seen that video? There's like... It's been so long since I've seen it, so I don't really remember it very well. But it's like, there's this guy who's tripping real bad in a parking lot. And this lady, there's like these people already there helping him. And this lady in her car just rolls down her window and starts yelling at the people that are helping this guy who's tripping real bad. Um, she's like, he needs some milk. He needs some milk. And it's just the funniest thing ever. It's like, what? Why? Okay. It's funny. I don't know how you could even Google that to find it, but, but you should. Let's see. 
There's something. Also, when we're on the topic of Googling funny videos, um, well, hi, pup. Let's see. Bad cat jump. Bad cat jump is a good one. It's pretty funny. Ooh, let's go up here. Please be dead and not alive. Okay. I think so. I think it's not alive. But I need your parts. Search. Ancient screw. Anything else? Just that one. Okay. Let's see more on the wall. I wonder though... Now I'm getting all confused on what direction I need to go. to go this way. But I might be turned around. I'm just gonna climb up here and look out. I might not be able to see very far. Okay. see this path. Oh, that's the oasis thing, I think. So let's take this pathway right here. And I bet it's going to get hot. Maybe. Ah, it's not really actually that hot. Maybe I didn't mean to make all those elixirs. That's okay. Didn't really need the ingredients that I used for anything else, so not really set back at all. Let's talk to this person. Savak. A runt like you wants to cross the desert. You have a Garuda's daring, little one. I like that, so I'll share a secret with you. Buried in the sand somewhere is a great treasure. Oh, okay. I like treasure. They sure make those Gerudo's ladies tall, don't they? What a bunch of buttes. Now, if they just let me move into Gerudo Town. The Emporium is open. Come one, come all. All the little bits and bobs you need to spice up your dishes. Oh, this guy sells stuff. Okay, I will take your arrows. Oh, no, no. There we go. I'll take them all. Okay. Um, I'll take all your apples, too. Pretty overpriced, but that's okay. Oh, look, there's a chest right here. I would not have noticed that if I didn't stop to talk to that guy. What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? Yep. Arrows! It's like the game knew I was out of arrows. Okay. I really thought that this was a lot farther away than it actually is. Uh oh, something's happening! Oh. 
you guys hear that? like slinky legs. Okay. Alrighty then. This is... Kara Kara Bazaar. Ruta Town is still a fair distance southwest up here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are a Vo, even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Gerudo Town. Gerudo Town? Gerudo Town is to the southwest. It's the biggest town in the area. It's famous for trade and also for staying active and vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forbidding the males from entering the city. Divine Beast. You don't know about Divine Beast Va Naboris? Supposedly, it is the guardian deity for the Gerudo people, but it suddenly started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning. Though it has, hasn't has yet, it could easily head towards Gerudo Town or this oasis. I do my best to keep my eye on it from here. Thank you. Huh, I don't need any thanks. This is my job after all. You know, the desert is hot during the day and cold at night. It'll take some energy out of you in no time. If you plan to head out bef into the desert, be... Make sure you're prepared. I'm just like making up words in these sentences on a read. Oh, look, this is glowing. Recall. This is that picture that that painter just showed me. What's happening? Uh oh. We're scared. We're running. There's bad guys. We fall down. Where was he before? Isn't he supposed to always be right there protecting her? Guys, I'm so cold. It gets hot in here during the day and then really cold at night. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna have to start wearing sweatshirts. Okay, so I've been here before with the princess. So those bad guys have been around for a while. Tree. I don't want to be on the tree. This stuff is fresh. Ooh. Sure, I'll take that. Twenty-three. That's such a random number, but okay. I guess that's how it is when you go to the store. So I shouldn't be surprised here. And yet, I am all puffy. 
Okay. Mm. Phew. Savak, who are you? Uh, you, you're a Vo, aren't you? I am, why? Hmm, no, I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like you. Oh yes, I'm oh. Rondson. I hail from Garuda Town. This search for the love of my life, I'm so exhausted by it, this search. Ugh, I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business to a Hylian like you, but I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Why the rush? You don't know? Really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival, is a peop as a people, we travel to find husbands. I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Rough. I would hate to... Oh wait, who is this? Work all my life to learn something so stereotypical, and then no one even wants it. Hi. Hello there. Oop, that was loud, sorry. Uh-oh, now I'm choking on it. Better, maybe? Maybe? Oh. I feel like my mic is quiet now. Okay, this guy's name is Guy. But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. R Rito Village, yeah, I know what Rito Village is. We just came from there. I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try to earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day, it's been tough to work up the will to go any farther. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. But they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I've heard insects with these cooling effects live in the cold parts of the Gerudo Highlands, but... Well, the monsters there are rough, to say the least. So I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. Wait, we just made a bunch of those. So let's see, what's that thing that just popped up? Okay, he wants a cooling elixir? Okay. So I can just give him one of ours. Thank you. Now you can get across the desert while it's still light out. Here, let me give you something in return. 50 rupees! Woohoo! By the way, in Gerudo, thank you is Sarkso. Sarkso. Okay, cool. Good to know. Sarkso. Sarkso. Now, I thought I saw someone else. Okay, I don't know where he went. Some speedle. Let's go in here. Oh, oops, sorry. Oh. Actually, what does she have? Oh, oh, arrows. Okay. There they are. Huh? Oh. Yes. Oh. I want everything. Oh. All of it. All of it. Yes. Oh. I like her noise. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Was 
that literally just one of each of those arrows? I think it was. <laughs> okay. Hmm. A divine beast. It feels like it gets a little bit closer every day. I wonder how long it will be before I can get back to Garuda Town. Okay, I've already talked to people about both of those. I don't want to be stuck here, but I don't want to be zapped by the angry creature's lightning either. If only someone, perhaps a hero, just passing through town could take care of the divine beast. If only... Girl, we've lost a lot of business ever since the Divine Beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound of the Divine Beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Do you want to stay? Nope. What I want to do is figure out where I can buy clothes that I can wear in the heat. Oh, person. Robson. Oh. This name is familiar. Is it one of the lost guys? Hey, um, you're a traveler. Oh, I see. Well, we're merchants. We wanted to make it to Garuda Town to sell our goods, but we we were stopped before we could go in. They only let women into that town, and to think we came all this way, all the way out here. Uh-oh, that was weird. Our leader went to Gerudo Town to try to figure out how we can get inside. But he hasn't come back yet. I imagine he isn't having a ton of luck. Uh-oh. this guy doing? Tomorrow will be the day I see the sandstorm swirl to a halt. I just know it. Okay. <sighs> Alright guys, it seems like we have a lot of exploring to do and this will be a fun place to pick up next time. I'm gonna go ahead and save before I forget. And I'm also going to call it a night. It's getting pretty late here. I got to get to bed before my baby wakes up again. <laughs> All right. So today was a two-parter, apparently. Uh, hopefully tomorrow goes more smoothly. And I can just do one stream straight through. We'll see. We'll see. But all right. You all have a good night. I will see you next time. Thank you for your support. Um, K2 climb, thank you for the follow. Raid? Oh, like raid someone else. <laughs> I thought, I don't know what I thought. Okay, I can raid. Mm, let's see. Should I raid another Breath of the Wild person? Let's see. Okay. Let's pull that up. And I'm going to search Breath of the Wild. That was loud, sorry. I popped my knuckles. Let's go with someone who doesn't have a lot of viewers. Here. Oh, that's me. <laughs> um, oh, Spanish, English. Okay, I don't know this person at all, so good luck. I hope you have fun. We're going to just see what happens. So, oh, she has a long name. Let's see. I don't want to do it wrong. Let me go back and double check that. Here we go. All right, guys.
see you later.